Hey everyone, in this video I just wanted to tell you about a new web hosting company called Hostinger.com. I have a link for them in the description if you're interested in using them. And let me just tell you a little bit about them before we get started in how to sign up for hosting and a domain name with them. So they offer very affordable web hosting at $2.15 a month for the lowest plans. And that would only be for a single domain name. For unlimited packages they go down as low as $3.49 a month. So to get started with this, we can actually click on web hosting here. And a little bit of background about Hostinger. They used to be a different company that offered web hosting for free, but they have now upgraded to some more premium type plans where they offer paid plans for people to use all throughout the world for a very low rate. So when we click on web hosting, we can go and click get started now and it will show us different plans that are out there for us. There's a single web hosting plan and that has only one domain name or one website for it and it has limited disk, disk space but it's not really that bad for 10 gigabytes disk space. A lot of them only offer 5 gigabytes disk space when you're getting started and there's a lower bandwidth as well. I personally use this plan, the premium web hosting plan here in the middle and it is their best seller it has unlimited domains SSD disk space unlimited and it has unlimited bandwidth now all these things say unlimited but it's technically not unlimited there are limits to everything it's just a industry term that they put this and everyone does it now the WordPress optimized speed says it's three times faster there are ways that you can manipulate your website to be faster or slower and that's probably something I'm going to put in another video but for now I wouldn't worry too much about that. Something cool is that you get a free domain name if you sign up for an annual plan and I'm actually going to sign up for a four year plan because the discount is so much better and I'll take advantage of that free domain name in the process. This one, the big difference between this business plan here and that is that with this business web hosting plan you also get free SSL certificates. So it is better for, it says increase SEO rankings. It is actually better for SEO rankings to have this, but I'm not too worried about it right now for in my case, because the domain I'm just gonna register right now, I might not even use, and I'm not really that worried about it. And for a, half the price with this plan in the middle here, this premium plan, I'll just take that instead. If you wanna compare different features about the plan, you can click right here, compare all features. And down here you can see different ways to pay. The interesting one to me is that they actually accept Bitcoin, which I like because I do have quite a bit of Bitcoin myself. And I'm just gonna go here and click get started on this middle premium plan and show you how to walk through the hosting setup here. So here you'll have the period that you'll be signing up for the hosting plan. Now if you were to do a plan for only three months, it would be $8.84 a month. And that's around, maybe even a little higher than what a normal web host would charge. But it's because it's a shorter period of time that you're signing up for. If you sign up for a longer plan, like a 12 month plan, this is on par with what a, a site like HostGator would charge for the first year. But a big difference that I wanna point out is, between this and HostGator is, this would renew at 584 a month. According to what their live chat has told me, I would maybe verify that with them if you have questions about it. It should also renew at the same rate that you sign up for it as. So if you sign up for a four year plan at 349 a month, which is what I'm gonna do here, you can get that renewal rate of 349 a month. Now if you were to sign up with HostGator, it might be 585 for the first year, but then after that first year, that price might go up to 11, $12 a month, and then you're stuck paying that as long as you're with HostGator and you don't change to a different hosting provider. Something I actually did for years is I jumped around from hosting provider to hosting provider when I was trying to save money. But in the end, it just gets to be too much of a hassle and I kind of want to stick with one or two. I also do have domain names right now with TMD hosting and I do have some on here and I will have some on here as well. So I'm going to use this plan here to get this full discount. And then you can search for a domain name right here. You want to make sure you check the extension because by default it goes to .xyz and I want mine to be in .com personally. So I'm just going to put in my domain name wpdesignbusiness.com and I'm going to click search see if it's available and it says great wpdesignbusiness.com is available so I'll click add to cart. Now as I said earlier 
I'm not actually going to sign up for this SSL certificate, but it could be something good if you're planning on building out that site and you want to make, make a store especially or something like that, it's probably good to have. Now this is an option to hide your personal information. I'm not really too worried about that, but some people may be. For $5 a year, it's really not that much, but it's up to you. I'm going to leave mine, but I will just let you know a lot of people like to check this because if they don't, they seem to receive calls and texts and emails from random people wanting to design a website for them. And, you know, me personally, I don't like when people spam me like that or, or basically like call my number out of the blue like that. I'm not really a fan of it, that kind of tactic to try to get customers. So it might be something you want to do with hiding your, your phone number or hide your personal information. I will say that also happens on just about every single hosting provider there is if you don't do this. So it's something to consider whether you're going to use this hostinger.com or any other host for that matter because it will basically result in you getting unwanted calls and texts and emails probably. So I'm just going to click check out now and I'm going to choose my method of payment. So down here I'm going to change some of this information to another website that I own and I'll just put this in real quick and I will click create account and check out and now it says you can pay now I'm going to actually go through PayPal put in this information I'll hit continue and I'll agree and continue. And now I'll just click pay now to get started. And now you get this thank you message. And then we can click set up your order. And then I just want to verify that this is the one I want for the domain name WP designbusiness.com and I'll just click continue and you might as well do that even though it said you have one you have wanted another company you want to use there's really no point if you're signing up for a longer term plan you might as well take the free domain name for a year and now we'll just go down and I'm just gonna fill out this basic information I'll just do this really quickly so you don't have to sit through that click setup and now you can do some basic things here, like you can go and click install WordPress, get your website up and running in one minute using mo the most popular website platform on the web. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do. We're going to click WordPress here. And now to go through this installation process here, I'm actually going to, I'll just scroll down here and you want to change your admin name most likely. I'm going to just change mine to be Tom Johnson. I do not want this to say anything there and it doesn't I just wanted to verify that I'll put in my password and here's my email for the website I'm not really that worried about it but I'd make it something that you can actually get an email from if you need to recover a password or something like that um, I'm just gonna put this as title tagline so I have an easy reference to where it is on the site once I start building it and then I'm going to scroll down here application updates now you can decide if you want to update the latest version uh, only update only to minor version or turn off application updates so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it as is here and I'll just click install it says executing and it says installation request has been submitted successfully please refresh this page in a few moments so I'm going to just refresh it and there we go if I click on it it'll open up there's the website now to get into the website and actually start building let's copy our web address here put WP hyphen admin after it and now it will be at the login page where we just put in our login which mine was Tom Johnson and our password here and we can just sign in you can click remember me if you can't remember the password that's where you would click lost password and it would get sent to the email that we just set up on the last page so let's just click log in here 
And I'm just going to show you real quick, if you ever need to change your password, you can go up here, click Edit My Profile, and then you can scroll down here where it says New Password, you can click Generate Password, put something else in there, and then you can Update Profile, and then it will keep your new password when you go to the wp-admin to log into the website. So I hope this was helpful with signing up for Hostinger and also setting up your WordPress installation for the first time on here. Be sure to subscribe for more WordPress for Beginners tutorials. Thanks for viewing everyone.